Hey everybody, so in this video we have LeBron James going over his top picks for the NFL Sunday games tonight. Uh, get into it. Enjoy. Even in their record 2-2, and beating the Raiders at SoFi today. Um, then we go on to the Patriots and the Cowboys. Um, you know, the Patriots is one thing about them. They're never going to beat themselves. You got to beat them. You know, Bill Belichick is one, if not the best coach in, in football. And um, you got to beat his team. Um, they're not going to beat themselves. You got to beat his team. And, um, you know, so it's up to Dallas. It's up to Dallas to go out and beat them. Um, and we know that Dallas sometimes like the best team in, 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 in football and sometimes they could not look like the best team in football. So, um, you know, it's up to it's up to the Cowboys to handle business uh, at AT&T Stadium down in Arlington and, and pull that win out. I do see them winning this game, but um, I wouldn't be surprised if if, if um, New England was able to to, to sneak up and, and, and snatch them. But I got Dallas winning the game. Uh, Michael Parsons is a flat out beast. Um, keep going, kid. Um, it's like watching Lawrence Taylor all over again. You know the way you um, the way you play with that speed and that and that velocity and that strength and that passion. It's like watching LT all over again. So um, I got the Cowboys in that game. Um, and then the last uh, 1 p.m. or 1:25 start Pacific time, 4:25 Eastern is the Cardinals and the Niners. Um, Cardinals played well last week. Um, I think so. Surprised a lot of play, uh, surprised a lot of people um, the way they was able to handle the Cowboys down in um, down in Arizona, um, and they looked um, looked really good, man. Um, you know, offensively they looked sharp. Uh, defensively they was in tune, and they was able to shut down Dallas from basically the beginning of the game all the way to the end and get their first win of the season. But this is a different beast. Uh, this is a different beast. Uh, the Niners are looking like the best team in football. On both sides of the on both sides of the field, uh, Brock Purdy is sharp. Obviously, Debo, Brandon Ayuk, um, you know, which what can you can see you can't say any more great things about CMC. Um, he he's a he, George Kittle, um, and that's just the name of, just just name a couple man. Um, and then defensively, um, when you when you talk about Freddie G Warner, um, he's just an absolute beast, man. Greenlaw. The rest of those guys, man, listen, I can sit here and talk all day uh, about the Niners and um, how great they look, how well coached they are. Um, and I didn't even name all the great players that they have. They just have so many great ones. And um, they do look like a, a Super Bowl title winning team so far through three games. And uh, I see them keeping it going today um, live from uh, Levi Stadium in Santa Clara. Um, I got the Niners winning that game. Um, the last game of the day. Um, is going to be uh, Sunday Night Football uh, between the Chiefs and the Jets. Now, obviously, when this game was slated, uh, we were all excited about this Week 4 matchup. You had Pat Mahomes versus Aaron Rodgers. Uh, you had these defenses that was great. You had these explosive offenses that was great. And obviously, um, you know, after Week 1 and um, seeing A-Rod go down, speedy recovery to A-Rod, man, I wish you the best, bro. Um, please come back stronger. Um, us old guys. Uh, we need to finish out on top, man. So, um, speedy recovery to you, brother, man. Wish you the best. Um, but <clears throat> back to the topic at hand, the Jets just haven't looked great. Um, obviously, we all know with, with Zach Wilson, uh, and all the conversation with him so far. Um, but they got a lot of players offensively, man. You know, bringing in, um, you know, bringing in Cook from uh, Minnesota. Obviously, um, uh, Bryce uh, uh, Bryce Hall. Um, you know, had an unbelievable rookie season last year before he was injured, but looked good so far this season. Obviously, you know, you know a lot of great receiver core. Um, you know, my guy from the Ohio State Buckeyes, Mr. Garrett, um, Gary Wilson, always looks great. Um, but you got to have a, an ability to get them the ball, you know. And uh, so we see what happens with that offense, obviously defensively. Um, with them right now, they're just on the field too long. Uh, we know that the Jets defense is really good. Uh, they're just on the field. Time of possession is just kicking their butt right now. And they're on the defense. They're on the field a, a lot longer than they should be. Um, but we know their defense is great. And they will be tested today because here comes the great Patty Mahomes um, and that uh, slew of arsenal of players that they have um, with the Chiefs. Um, obviously, Travis Kelsey being, uh, you know, the main one that uh, Pat Mahomes is always looking to. But they just got so many. Um, they got so many 
Um, you can't just key in on one guy because that's when uh, Pat Mahomes will make you pay. Um, and the big fella calling the plays. Uh, one of my favorites, Andy Reid, always calm, collective, and cool. Um, he's going to be calling those plays. So, you know, that is that is the games, man. Um, and I, oh, I'm sorry, I got the Chiefs. I got the Chiefs winning that game very, very handily. Um, you know, I think that it's going to be competitive. Um, I love the Jets coach, Salah. He's super duper dope. Watched Hard Knocks, had me motivated. Um, you know, talking about the pillars of uh, uh, of the type of player you are, the type of competitor you are. That was super duper dope. Love that, taking that with me. Um, but I got the Chiefs winning that game. Um, do Am I supposed to do the Monday night game, guys, as well? Or does that actually start week five? How does that work? Hmm. Let's see. Because it's not... Let me see. Let's see if that game... Oh, yeah. So that is the end of week four. <clears throat> so the, the last game will be... The Seattle Seahawks versus the New York football Giants. Got a lot of New York friends who are in love with the Giants. PR being one of them, one of my business partners and brothers. He's a diehard Giants fan. Uh, it's going to be a tough game for him. Um, you know, I hate seeing my boy Saquon not being in the lineup. Uh, that's my boy right there. Um, keep going, kid. When you come back, you're a beast. Um, you know, Daniel Jones, you know, I think it's always all predicated to him. Being able to do it with his feet, being able to do it with his arm, um, you know, but getting that receiving core going, um, you know, so, you know, shout out my man, Paris Campbell, Akron Zone, that's my boy, St. V alum, the Ohio State Buckeye as well. But I'm going to go with, um, I'm going to go with Seattle. I'm going to go with Seattle, man. Um, you know, obviously Pete Carroll, uh, super duper good friend of mine. I love him. He's super dope. Um, but I'm going to go with Seattle. Um, Geno Smith loved the resurrection that their guys made. You know, obviously it was counted out early, you know, and um, the last couple of years he's just shown why he was um, who he always believed he was coming out of West Virginia when he was a high pick to the Jets. Um, and then that DK Metcalf, um, super duper beast. Um, you know, they got, you know, so many players uh, coming. Um, what's my running back's name who I love? Uh, is it Kenneth Walker? Uh, played at Michigan State. Um, and what's my fat? What's my fast receiver's name, man? Uh, I love him too. Who who made that game winning touchdown? Was that game winning touchdown last week or or the week before? I love him too. Um, he's super duper dope too. Um, let's see if I can find him. But he's super dope too. Yeah, Tyler Lockett. That's what I was thought. That's what I was thinking about. Tyler Lockett, beast, super beast, super fast, super strong. And I think he's been there. I wonder if he's been there his whole career. If I'm not mistaken, I've only felt like I've seen him in a Seahawks uniform. But uh, super beast. Um, so to round out my games uh, of the week, I, like I said, I know I missed a Thursday night game. I did pick the Lions to win that game um, versus the Packers. I just feel like they're just the, the better team. Um, you know, but uh, wasn't able to put that on here. Y'all gonna think I was lying, whatever the case may be. It's cool. <laughs> and I was up early. Uh, watching that uh, Jaguars uh, Falcons game, um, but I just didn't do the IG live and pick the team, um, you know. So, um, but that was a good game. Jags was able to pull that out. But yeah, man, th these are my picks for uh, for Week Four. Um, I hope it's a a great uh, weekend or a great Sunday of football and Monday. Um, I'm about to get ready to watch the games. I'm about to get to my couch, watch the games. Um, I know y'all probably want me to talk a little basketball, but that ain't till tomorrow. Um, media day is tomorrow with the Lakers. Y'all can tune in there. Um, but today is all about football. Uh, today is all about football. I do got a lot, lot to say tomorrow, uh, but not too much um, at media day. But appreciate y'all tapping in with me. Um, yeah, I love football. I love the NFL. We had a great day uh, yesterday with college football as well. But today is about the NFL, so I'm about to get ready, get inspired some more watching these guys play the game, get on my Madden at some point today, and uh, and go from there. So appreciate y'all tuning in with me, all 21 and a half thousand people who was up, and, uh, and until next time, love.